What's up everyone, this is Education About Stuff. Um, I'm going to be showing uh, the CYK algorithm today. And what the CYK algorithm is, is um, whenever you have a string W, let's say, and this is your string W, uh, it looks at what kind of de derivations you can obtain um, while referencing a grammar that we have here. Um, four different substrings of that larger string. So we look at derivations of just B, look at derivations of just A, and so on, and then we look at B A, and then B A A, B A A B, and then B A A B A at the end. Okay, so let's get started. It's um, pretty basic to start out. It's uh, very intuitive, but it gets a little tricky. Um, so first off we look at the letter so if we look at the letter B B is a terminal value in our grammar here for the state B for the label B and only B so we look at the letter in the string and we say where can we obtain B and we can only obtain B in state capital B so we put capital B in here where can we obtain a. We can obtain A in state capital A and state capital C. So we write in A and C. And then it's just A and C again here. It's just B again here. And then A and C again here. So now this is when things get a little trickier. Let's take out these arrows here. This is when things get a little trickier. By the way, sorry about my voice. I got a bit of a head cold right now. Um, instead of looking at the actual string, we want to start looking at substrings. So we're going to be looking at B and A first, which is why we our, our graph here was re or our table was reduced by a square. It's because we're going to be looking at combinations of two letters in our string now. Um, so if we take a look here, we're going to be looking at string B A. So when we look at how B and A are produced, we can take the um, yeah the Cartesian product essentially of these two production rules. So we end up with B A and B C. So let me look in our grammar again. Where do we obtain BA? We obtain BA in state capital A. Where do we obtain BC? We only obtain it in state S. So we write SA up here. Now, oops, this is a new version of OneNote that I'm really not used to yet. Sorry, guys. Now we look at A and A. So we do the Cartesian product of A and C and A and C. So we end up with A, A. We end up with A, C. We end up with C, A. We end up with C, C. So where do we get A, A? We don't get A, A. Where do we get A, C? We don't. Where do we get C, A? Uh, we don't. Where do we get C, C? We get it in. B. So we'll put B up here. Okay. So now we're going to be looking at A, B. Um, so we have A and C, and we have B for those two letters. Do the Cartesian products, so we have A, B, and then we have CB. So where do we obtain AB? We obtain it in both S and C. Where do we obtain CB? Uh, we don't. So this is SC. Um, and then finally, we're going to do BA at the end here. So we have B, we have 
with AC, we take the Cartesian product, so with BA, we end up with BC. Where do we get BA? We get it in state capital A. Uh, where do we get BC? We get it in S. So we'll do SA here. Okay, so things get a little harder here. Basically, oops. Basically, we're going to be looking at three letters at a time now. So we're going to be looking at BAA. Um, now, because we have three letters, we have different combinations of substrings. So we have B, and then we have AA, we have BA, and then A. So those are just different combinations, the two different combinations of substrings that we can have um, for that beginning string there of uh, three letters. So let's take a look. We have B here, which is taken care of by state capital B. So we have B, and then we have double A. We already took care of double A here. Remember when we were doing two letters at a time. So we already took care of double A there, and that is also B. Then we have BA, and then A. So we already took care of BA again. It's SA, which is here. So again, when we took care of two letters, we did BA. We did it in this cell here. So we have SA, and then when we did just one letter at a time, we did A. So that's AC. Now we take the Cartesian product of uh, what we obtain from each substring. So here we end up with just BB, and here we end up with S and A from that, and then we end up with S and C, and then A and A, and then A and C. Now this is interesting because none of these are in our grammar. We can't obtain any of these in our grammar. So when that happens, we just put a little dash in there. Okay, so next we'll take AAB. So our different substrings are A and then AB, or AA and then B. Um, so we already did A, which, uh, which is here, it's just AC. So we have AC. And then AB we already did as well, that's SC. And then here, AA, we already did that, ends up with B. And then just B, we already did as well, ends up with just B. So Cartesian product here again is just BB. And then here, it's AS, AC, and then CS, and then CC. Uh, so, just taking a look at this again, we only have CC once, and that's on state capital B, as you can see here. So, we just put, oops, that's not black, we just put capital B here. So, just to go over that again, we have CC only once in our grammar, and this is the Cartesian product of... Um, a couple production rules from our substring AAB. So since this is the only result that we have, we put it here. Okay, now our last substring ABA, so we can have A or BA or AB or A. And we end up with AC and BA is. A and then A B S C and A S A C. So if we do the Cartesian product, we end up with A S A A uh, C S C A and S A S C C A C C. So it looks like C C is our only one again which is present in state capital B, which means that we put a capital B. Okay, so now it's getting to my least favorite part where we
we start doing four letters. So our substrings are B A A B B A A B B A A B. So B is just B and then A A B we already did. That's B B A we already did. That's S A. And then A B we already did. That's S C. B A A we already did. That's nothing. Then B is B, so this one is cancelled out because we have nothing here. So we don't have to do that one. So here we end up with just B B as our Cartesian product. Here we end up with S S, we end up with S C, we end up with A S, and we end up with A C. So again, none of these are in our grammar, so we just put a dash. Okay. Uh, so now we're going to look at A, A, B, A. So we have A, A, B, A. We have A, A, B, A. We have A, A, B, A. All right, so A is just... Sorry, I'm kind of changing colors a lot here. I'm not really keeping track. Uh, a, B, A is B. A, A is B. And B, A is S A. So I know I'm going kind of quick here, but um, just to show you again, for like string A A, we already did it. Um, it's this string here, and we did it in the second row. So that's just B. And then S A um, is for the substring B A, which is this one here, which we already did as well. It's in row two here. So that's just where I'm getting those values from. Okay, A A B is B A is A C. So now we do the Cartesian product. So we have A B here, we have C B, we have B S B A B A B C. So here A B we have A B in state S, we have A B in state C. CB we don't have, BS we don't have, BA we have in state A, BA we have in state A, and BC we have in state S. So because we have repeated states here, we only have to say them once. Uh, so we just do S, A, C. Uh, because we have S and C here, we have an A here, we have an S, and like a repeated S here, we have a repeated A here. We don't need to include these twice, we just do SCA, or SAC, whatever. I like doing this order just because it's the order in which the grammars uh, list the states. So, S, A, C. Alright, so I'm going to write out the substrings and just prep the, the last step here cut out for a sec. Okay, so here we have two blanks. So we have BAA, um, which is this one here, and then we have BAAB, which is this one here. So these two we don't have to do. So these are these are just done. We forget about those. All right, so we have for our Cartesian products, we have BS, we have BA, we have BC. Um, for this one we have SB and AB. Okay, so BS, we don't have BS. BA is in state capital A. BC is in state capital S. SB, we don't have AB, is in states capital S and capital C. So again, we have a repeated S, so it's just SAC. S A C. Okay, so that's um, that's it. Again, sorry for my voice, and I'm kind of whispering here, uh, but I hope that clears things up. I honestly, I watched a few videos on uh, the CYK algorithm on YouTube, 
and none of them explain this properly. So I hope this helps. Anyway, feel free to, to uh, subscribe and suggest ideas for new videos, and uh, happy studying.